Investigators wanted to interview the injured student and the driver, but there's nothing from either one in the Sheriff's Department report. It contains the first narrative of what happened in the back lot of Moeller High School around 20 of 6 on October 23rd. They did obtain a statement from the 17-year-old passenger in the Pathfinder, driven by a 16-year-old student. Here's his statement with the names of the juveniles redacted. He describes how the youth came over to the SUV and hopped onto the running board as it started moving. Quote, when the driver started to slow down when he got to the speed bump, the youth fell off the car and to the ground, end quote. A mother who was nearby witnessed what happened. Her statement says, quote, at first the car was rolling slowly, then accelerated quickly for maybe five to ten feet, then stopped, causing the youth to fall off. It appeared that he stumbled, then fell flat on his back, end quote. The investigative report states when the youth stepped off the running board, he was thrown forward and onto the pavement, sliding for approximately 26 feet. The report also describes how the youth had grabbed the roof rack, stepped onto the driver's side running board that the vehicle had momentarily stopped and then rapidly accelerated. The speed of the vehicle was listed on the report as 27 miles per hour. There's nothing explanatory about whether there was horseplay involved or a deliberate intent to injure. The passenger told investigators, quote, we ran out of the car to see if he was okay, end quote. And the statements and report from the sheriff now in the hands of prosecutor Joe Dieters, they're under review and investigation by his office to determine if any criminal charge might be warranted. John London, WLWT News 5.